Okay, hello, and welcome to our Fall 2013 CRM webcast series. I'm Jason Gumpert, and we are here today for the last session in the series, our CRM Vendor Showcase. It has been a busy fall, and we've had several really great sessions on a range of topics. Uh, if you missed any of these sessions, I suggest you go back to msdynamicsworld.com's webcast section and seek them out on demand. They are all uh, available now, and I will also post a link in the chat uh, for all of you on the line today um, to follow as well. Uh, we couldn't run this series without our sponsors, and I want to thank them for being a part of it. Today, they will be presenting on their vision for sales, marketing, and service challenges and strategy uh, as it relates to the Dynamics CRM space. We have presenters on the line from Click Dimensions, Silverpop, Moxie Software, and Scribe, and they'll each uh, introduce themselves, tell you more about themselves uh, in just a moment. Each presenter will have 12 minutes and will begin um, momentarily here. We invite you to ask questions using the Q&A block that you see on the right side of the screen. We will be saving questions until the end, and we'll have our presenters take as many questions as we have time for. So, uh, without further delay, please allow me to introduce our first speaker. That is Nick Weybrick from Quick Dimensions. Nick, are you there? I am. Thank you, Jason. All right. I'll, well, I want to, again, welcome everybody uh, to the, today's speed dating session. I know we've got a lot to cover on uh, Click Dimensions itself. Um, Jason, are, am I able to share my screen out now? Uh, yes, you should have uh, access to share your screen now. I'm not getting that. I'm not getting the screen sharing um, notification as I was before. Um, uh, let me. Let me. I can try one more time here if you want to. Just. Uh, just give it a sec. Okay, you should now have control. Okay. Um, well, I'm not quite sure where where we're at, but again, um, we can we can figure that out. Pardon, bear with us here. Um, I'm not getting the, the prompt for the screen share. Um, as uh, it were. Nick, can you try the Quick Start tab um, in the top left and see if that is uh, is act active for you? Uh, and do you see the share? Can you, can, do you have access to share my desktop? Ah, perfect. All right. Well, as Jason said, um, you know, I'm, my, my name is Nick Waverick. I'm from Click Dimensions, and today we're going to be talking about, you know, Click Dimensions, our marketing automation solution, why we do what we do. Most importantly, you know, what our solution actually does. We'll take a peek under the hood and see how it actually works. And most importantly, we want to show you why you can trust Click Dimensions for your marketing process and dynamic CRM environment. So, you know, there's a lot to cover, um, but I think you know, we, if we stick to those kinds that's the point. We can definitely hit the tip of the iceberg for you today. And so, you know, today's marketing is really about money ball metrics. And I don't know if you saw the movie uh, or not, but, you know, to, to revolutionize the way that you um, change things uh, or decide things based on data, um, you know, definitely affected Major League Baseball. And I think the same thing is happening in, in today's marketing processes. Um, it's as it's much as a science as an art and really the biggest asset in the marketing Mark, modern marketers' toolbox is the ability to use technologies like dynamic CRM, marketing automation to really bridge those activities and sales results. So it's about generating, qualifying, and nurturing prospects. It's, it's about prioritizing, connecting, and closing your opportunities, and it's about providing the analysis of those metrics that actually matter to prove your ROI as a marketer and make dollars and cents out of the data. And as a, as a marketing scientist, you know, we, we find that you know, while you might have different tools in different places, um, you should be in the same lab. And um, what we found in the industry is that there's different, there seems to be different places that marketers are going out to. They may be going out to a tool for email marketing. They might be going out to a tool for, uh, for surveys or web forms or analytics and social discovery. And while all of that, that is very powerful on, on, the, on their own, um, they're often, you know, only connected to CRM through some type of integration or synchronization tool, um, import, export, um, and the data really resides in two places. Um, and those separate tools aren't talking to each other either. So what Click Dimensions really has done as 
started from dynamic CRM and has pulled in all of these unique features of marketing automation, um, all the way from mass customized email marketing, but we're way more than that, to be able to have you know the web tracking, um, putting action items and scores to those um, activities and interactions that your at your recipients and, and visitors are taking, building out drip marketing and nurture programs to have an easy easy to build um, you know drip marketing program, um, being able to capture forms, surveys, landing page landing pages, all as individual records inside Dynamic CRM, and we've done that through native integration. So we're, we have a solution file that's native to Dynamic CRM um, that brings in a, a, a plethora of um, custom entities that are managed by our managed solution file. It works within Dynamic CRM 2011, 20, or 2013, version 4.0, on-prem, online. Um, and ultimately, we store data, but we are not a uh, – we, we store data inside your Dynamic CRM, so we are not a – storing your data in our solution, we are in fact, you know, just kind of a processing engine. If you can think of us as a transactional location stored within Microsoft's own Windows Azure Cloud, um, where you press send on an email you built one of, using one of our templates, we provision out the unique emails to the unique recipients, contacts, leads, accounts, um, or marketing lists within inside Dynamic CRM. We, our deliverability engine sends out the emails, um, when someone clicks, opens, unsubscribes, views a page on your site, whether it's through a tracking script or through interacting with those emails that you're sending, you know, you're getting those responses back and they're being stored against that correct, um, you know, contact lead or account inside Dynamic CRM. Everything is going to be completely branded to your, to your company, to your brand. It's, it's your domain. It's your brand. So, you know, we're using, you know, CNAME, um, CNAME redirects for all of those different um, web content and email links that we're provisioning, and you know w our deliverability we take very seriously and um, have a permission-based sending model where we are authenticated to send on your behalf through standard um, email marketing best practices. So you create, you press send from Dynamic CRM, and you know we do the deliverability analytics. Um, why you can trust Click Dimensions really um, comes down to our relationship with Microsoft Dynamic CRM. Um, you know, our solution is only built for Dynamic CRM and only built within Dynamic CRM, um, and it's actually the highest rated, most reviewed solution in the entire Dynamics marketplace. Um, so out of all the other um, solutions that work with Dynamics products, um, our, our solutions re received reviews and, and ratings um, that surpass um, all of the others, and our solution is really the only solution for marketing automation that has collectively been certified for version 4.0, version 2011, version, um, you know, CRM Online, and, and shortly um, here we'll be certified for CRM 2013 with our product that came out in October for 2013. Um, we were selected as a partner of the year for, for Microsoft and finalists in the years before, and Early day, in the early days of our um, product, Microsoft invited us to the BizSpark 1 and BizSpark Plus technology incubators to really build and maintain our solution in the marketplace. So while all of that makes sense, you know, for us to pat ourselves on our back, and it, it, it might make sense to you, other companies trust Click Dimensions as well. Um, large organizations, small one-person one real estate offices, wherever dynamic CRM can go, Click Dimensions can be, um, and, and really, you know, it transcends any verticals or industries that, you know, solutions might be specific to. And the biggest part of your success with Click Dimensions is going to be, you know, our focus on your success. Um, we have a very defined onboarding process so you know where you're at in every step of the way. We have different types of content that you can get, whether it's live, recorded, um, you know, documented, videos, webinars, events, blogs, ebooks that we put out there. So that way, when you have a question about how to use something with Click Dimensions, maybe something like send an email using Workflow or something like that, you don't, you can go to Google and you can type it in. You're going to find a Click Dimensions page and article on how to do that exactly. Um, and everything that we do is led by our chief customer officer, who is an eight-time Microsoft MVP for CRM. Um, so, you know, we've kind of taken this approach to give you a multifaceted, um, you know, channel for success. Um, whether that's through the academy, 
where you can grab those those courses, or maybe if you haven't, I want to invite you to you know grab some of our premium content, whether it's ebooks that we have or other other webinars. Um, I want to dig into the product a little bit here. Um, I want to go in and and talk about um, how Click Dimensions you know can create some of those those emails, um, send out those emails, and then um, ultimately you know some of the differentiators between you know us as an email platform and us as a marketing automation platform. So while we can send emails from the marketing list entity just by clicking on a, a link in the in the ribbon uh, and generating a unique alias through something we call Outlookcast, using a block style editor or our drag and drop editor, we, we have two now simple editors that we um, have. Um, we have the freestyle editor, which is a WYSIWYG style editor, it allows you to bring in any um, data from CRM through an easy to use toolbar. Um, and then we also have custom HTML editors, which allow you to build um, in a email using just HTML. So if you have third-party tools that might have given you a straight HTML email, you can do that. Solutions that don't have it or don't do it correctly, you can often spend more time reformatting emails um, than it actually took to build it to begin with. Um, and you can send emails using Click Dimensions in a variety of ways as well. So whether it's a bulk email that you're going to be having you know, recipients, templates, and preferences, and the recipients might be, you know, contacts, leads, accounts, marketing lists, or a mix of any of them together. Um, you might want to send a single email to a contact or a lead just by clicking on the button that we place on that contact or lead record. Or you can send via workflow. So if you have existing processes that you want to add a, a trackable email to, um, you can do that via workflow. Um, we can send via our nurture programs as well as through form automation. So. You know, we, we won't go into super details about how those how those work, um, but you know, when you you can very easily right click and you know add blocks, change blocks. Like you're building templates with Legos, you can go through and you can build in design view or an HTML view. Um, and then ultimately, we want to help you focus on having good content within your within your email. So we provide tools like an inbox preview to see how that email is going to render out in the different email applications of the world. Um, give you tools like the heat map tool to see how your email is being re received from a real estate point of view, um, you know, above the, above the scroll, if you would, uh, instead of above the fold. Um, and then, you know, being able to optimize your email using split testing, A-B testing to see different differentiators between your strategies um, so that way you know, um, you know, if there's a, if there's a dilemma between designers, um, Strategy A versus strategy B, colors of colors buttons, backgrounds, subject lines, things like that that you can test on. Being native inside Dynamic CRM allows you to bring in information that is straight, with it, straight from within inside your uh, CRM environment. You don't have to duplicate that data into another database in order to use it or synchronize it or have an integration in place. Um, you can just pull in any, any field or any value from Dynamic CRM from the recipient, um, from the related records from, of that recipient, um, using just simple merging functionality that we provide in our editors. Uh, but we go a step above that because we know that mail merges have been around for ages and they don't really impress anybody, but they're almost expected. So we provide a way of, of provisioning true dynamic content to say, you know, how, how do we, um, you know, how do we be relevant to the recipient without just giving them information that we already know about them. Well, you can use that information to um, to ultimately say, here is a here here's some content that's going to go to to uh, Spanish speaking males, and here's some content that's going to go to Spanish speaking females or CEOs or engineers because they speak different dialects at different times. Being able to take your your content and great really good content that's shareable is important. Perfect. Um, and you know, when when you've created that content and you're sharing it out, um, you know, you can use our tools like our nurture program to say when people jump through different hoops, um, you know, do certain actions, uh, even run CRM workflows to create an opportunity or create a um, an activity. All of that is tied back to our um, our kind of identification model, and you know, being able to tie it back to the individual contact or lead inside dynamic CRM. So, I mean, that's kind of the basis behind Click Dimensions to be able to say, you know, 
create really good content, distribute it, and have interaction points, whether they're, they're inbound through form surveys, landing pages, um, but to have the entire process on a, on a completely closed loop um, and all inside your Dynamics CRM environment. All right, thanks, Nick. We are at time here. All right, Jason, I'm going to give you back control. Great, thank you. All right, uh, next presenter will be uh, Pierre Holzbus from Scribe. Pierre, I am giving you control now and unmuting your line. Uh, are you there? Yes, I am. All right, welcome. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> More importantly, can you control, can you bring up your desktop uh, properly? Great. Yeah, there you go. Should be seeing it? I see your desktop now, yes? Excellent, excellent. Get this. Uh... All right, well, thanks for the time today, everybody. My name is uh, Pierre Hulsebus. I work for Scribe Software. I'm a, a sales engineer for Scribe, which, which means I help with uh, opportunities like this to uh, speak to the public, and also I, I work with our customers in helping them uh, kind of evaluate Scribe and put together proof of concepts and kind of answer a lot of technical questions around Scribe. Uh, I'm a Microsoft Dynamics, uh, so I used to run a dynamic CRM practice, and I very familiar with the CRM. I'm CRM certified and have been using the product since version one. If you can imagine that, 10 years we've been on this platform. Pretty amazing. Uh, so I've been around the channel for quite a bit and, and uh, love Scribe, uh, love all the partners that are on today. So uh, it's just exciting. I love doing these uh, sessions uh, to kind of get right through it and what everybody does uh, right to the point. So let's talk about Scribe for a couple minutes here. So Scribe uh, is an integration platform. Uh, that uh, we integrate with uh, the Microsoft Dynamics uh, platform, the stack of applications uh, for the business applications uh, in Microsoft. We, you see uh, folks utilizing the benefits of integration that are in uh, finance area, uh, where we're um, getting things through the, the, the processes internally, things like uh, getting sales orders into uh, production and into over into order management and uh, answering questions to sales and marketing. A lot of the, the these uh, marketing automation tools we're looking at today, like Click Dimensions, uh, you know, obviously one of the best ways to figure out who are my good prospects are is profiling who my current good customers are, and so finding out uh, the financial information in the CRM system and building our list based on that is really helpful. So that's where marketing uh, can can see the benefits of getting the, the leads inside of a CRM and uh, sales loves it because they can get their product information inside of the tools that they're using to generate proposals. And of course, customer service, you know, after everything is sold, you know, who what did we sell them? Uh, those are the kind of questions that the service departments uh, are looking at when when did they buy, what did they purchase, what are our obligations to this customer from a contractual standpoint. So uh, Scribe is a, is a integration platform that helps uh, all of those um, different departments and all those different users uh, get their get their uh, customers uh, satisfied and help them uh, through their their processes. Uh, Scribe is a very horizontal application. As you can imagine, our customers are in all different industries. Uh, all across the, the world, we have uh, our offices are located, uh, our development office is located in uh, Manchester, New Hampshire, uh, but uh, we do have folks all over the United States and the globe. We, we have an office also in, uh, that services the European and African and Middle Eastern markets uh, in Den Haag, Holland. So, uh, so we, we're all over the place, and we have, as you can see, a list like this. You can see that we have customers in, in lots of different industries. So uh, today we're going to talk about Scribe Online. Uh, Scribe Online is uh, really a collaborative platform that allows partners and end users and the IT departments of, of the customers to actually uh, work together. We say that uh, integration is a team sport often. And uh, so it takes lots of different folks that have input in terms of managing and building out the integration. So uh, this is truly a, a collaborative environment. It's very flexible. Uh, it is cloud-based, uh, but uh, it can handle on-premise data and highly secure data very well. And so we've designed it to, to manage these kind of hybrid environments and also looking forward to the future 
very strong environment, so we're seeing a lot of integrations that are cloud-based only, where there is no on-premise information. You have a CRM online talking to uh, maybe a marketing automation system that, that's online. So uh, one of our guests today, Silverpop, for example, we have an integration for Silverpop. So, you know, we've got customers that are uh, connecting into, um, into Silverpop, it's an online system, into a CRM online. So there's no uh, need for any installation of an on-premise application. So we do uh, uh, connect across a broad set of, of applications and systems. Uh, so everything from, uh, you know, Silverpop to Dynamic CRM, Salesforce, uh, we're connecting into Oracle, um, Scribe also has a, a, a very strong uh, connector development kit that allows us uh, and our partners and users to build their own connections. So you can build your own connections to your own applications uh, that you would like to. So um, Scribe Online is, as we mentioned, a cloud-based platform. It's a service. So uh, in the same way that Dynamic CRM Online would be sold or purchased uh, on a monthly basis, uh, Scribe is uh, purchased on a usage basis. It's based on how many not how many licenses you have of anything or how many connections that you're making, but it's all priced around how much you use the application. So uh, it's based on the data that comes through the system. So it's really really unique in that way. So it's very low cost to start, actually free to start because you haven't put any data through it yet. But once you start getting data through it, then that's when the billing starts. So. Uh, as I mentioned, it works with um, cloud-based uh, systems. It does have an agent technology, and we'll talk about that a little here in a second. Um, and uh, it is a great ecosystem. So you don't really have any hardware that you need to do to use this. There's, it's a non-developer system, so it really focuses on kind of your power users, uh, folks that understand the data models of these systems, but you do not need to be a developer uh, to do this uh, at all. So. When we're working in the cloud integrations space, we need things that are going to be quick to deploy, um, going to be uh, highly profitable, a fast return on investment uh, so that uh, we can get this thing done quickly. And uh, so let's uh, talk a little about how this, this works from an architecture standpoint. Uh, Scribe Online is accessed by a web browser. So uh, we go right into a uh, web browser to get access to the system. And uh, we'll, we'll log in here in a second. Then you, um, you get access then into the Scribe online platform. Uh, you have then uh, the need to configure two, uh, one of two ways, or both ways, uh, to access uh, Dynamics, or excuse me, the, the Scribe uh, integration platform. And that is uh, whether you're going to go to uh, Scribe online uh, with an agent that runs on premise. So this could be running in your building because I'm going to access you know, data or work with systems that are not out on the internet or available from the web. Uh, so private, you know, secure data. And or you can have a, what we refer to as a cloud-based agent. Uh, so uh, again, enabling these types of scenarios where we're doing cloud-to-cloud -cloud kind of integration. So, and you can mix and match and have hybrid integrations that access local data to uh, cloud-based information systems. So, so. So Scribe is a um, drop in uh, a, a, a kind of, let's say, a click and configure kind of model. Uh, I'm going to open the user interface up here, uh, but this is a screenshot of it. You'll see that the visual design model that we have uh, is really unique. So let, let me bring that up here real quick because I've got a couple minutes here to go. Whoop. Where'd my slide go? So let's bring this back up here. So uh, uh, as we mentioned, uh, we have uh, different uh, agents that can get installed. They may need to be installed on-premise on a machine, and, or they could be cloud-based. So the on-premise software, if you did have some, it, it's just a little 20 meg file. There's no user interface for the, the software. Uh, this runs as a service on, on that local machine. The user interface is all based in the cloud. And uh, so from here, I can connect into those different uh, systems. Uh, once I configure those connections, and there's an area in the system to manage the connections. Uh, 
And uh, from there, so for example, if I was going to integrate, let's say, products uh, from uh, Dynamics GP into CRM, that type of integration would look like this. So if I was going to bring the products in here, let's move the products from GP into CRM. What you do is you choose the connections uh, that uh, we're going to be as our source, and then you choose uh, the query uh, of what I want to do. So in this one, I'm bringing the item master in. Uh, and uh, it's based around uh, polling for that data. So every minute or so, it will look out, look at the last modified date, and pull any changes uh, that it finds into the integration. And then from there, uh, it, uh, we have a couple different things that this um, integration will need to do to populate a product inside a CRM. It has to figure out the currency uh, that it's going to do. So it's able to, um, from my source, kind of connect into these. And so I have my different steps or different um, methods that I want to use, and I pull them out of my palette over here on the right-hand side and drag them into the stack. On my, on, and uh, then I'm able to perform a particular operation to maybe look something up or create or remove the data uh, however I want to. So this. Um, uh, so, uh, so in this one, we're uh, creating products and we're updating products inside of CRM. So um, I'm taking data from my source. I'm going into Dynamic CRM on the product object, and then in here at the field level, you just uh, click on the fields here. So over here on the left hand side, I have my item master information from GP, and I'm going into my target uh, application here in Dynamics uh, CRM. So I'm able to drag and drop the, the fields that I want to see uh, 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 from one system to another. And uh, so you build out these integrations and then you run them based on a schedule that you define. And uh, those are defined by uh, a time and date or you can uh, re recur them to have them run every so many minutes uh, depending on how uh, interactive uh, the systems need to be. And all of this is managed uh, through a web browser, uh, and uh, that is how Scribe, uh, Scribe Online uh, does, does its thing. Um, One minute, Pierre. Yep. And so let me just uh, conclude here. Uh, so um, I know it's really quick, so uh, just to one last thing, we, uh, Scribe does offer free training for this, so uh, getting up to speed and offering uh, uh, how to make it work. So we have uh, uh, monthly classes that we give on this, and uh, the training for Scribe Online is, is free, and you can go and work with the basic and advanced maps and, and take different classes for that. So. And uh, there's my information. If you have any questions, uh, you can get a hold of me at uh, pierrehuselbus at scribesoft.com or shoot me a uh, message through Twitter at infuseme or scribenerd at, uh, <laughs> at Twitter. So thank you for your time today. Great. Thanks so much, Pierre. Um, I will take control, I guess, back from you. Yep. And all right, great. So the next speaker will be Dan Griffin from Silverpop. Dan, I am giving you control now. Thank you, Jason, and I am uh, sharing my screen here shortly. Get this presentation it is, up. It is up now. All right, thank you. Okay, so my name is Dan Griffin. I'm the Channel Sales Director for Silverpop. We are a marketing automation company, and what we want to talk about today is kind of the power of marketing automation delivered for Microsoft Dynamics CRM users. And um, similar to what Nick shared, we offer a embedded solution, but also, as Pierre talked about, we offer an integrated solution. So let's talk about who Silverpop is quickly. Silverpop is the only digital marketing technology provider that unifies marketing automation, email, mobile, and social. So what does that mean? What that means is we go to market in the Microsoft community with two distinct product offerings. The first to our left is Core Motives. Core Motives is an embedded solution built completely within the Microsoft CRM platform, leveraging the Azure Cloud, which we'll talk about shortly and will be the focus of most of the information I'm going to share today. But we also offer another platform called Engage. 
engage with outside of Microsoft CRM, but is integrated leveraging the Scribe online platform. And the reason that we offer both of these products is that oftentimes in the enterprise client space, those large marketing departments or very complex marketing departments, large not necessarily being number of people, want to have their own application with advanced sets of behavioral marketing functionality that currently would live outside of CRM. And of course, you know, as Nick shared earlier, having that data move back and forth starts to raise some concerns for us CRM purists. I, like Pierre, come from uh, version one, Microsoft CRM led a large partner's uh, development arm and deployment arm for several years before joining Silverpop. So we naturally recommend the embedded approach through Core Motives, but do recognize that there are different businesses and those different businesses choose to operate in very different manners. So just very quickly, we have over 1,700 Microsoft CRM implementations, over 5,000 clients if you think about Silverpop as a whole. Silverpop is considered a market leader when it comes to marketing automation. Um, we're de deployed globally, and we've uh, been in place since version 3, and have most recently, uh, like most folks, released our compatible version for Microsoft uh, Dynamics CRM 2013. We have a full service deliverability team, a full scale professional services team. So what do those two pieces mean to you? What they mean is we have 20 folks that solely are focused on ensuring your email gets to your recipient and that that is done in the correct and lawful manner. We also work through nurture web forms. We have the ability to do social tracking. And then, of course, we can deploy to both CRM online and CRM on-premise. Uh, CRM on-premise or partner-hosted are, are the same thing um, from a client perspective. And the implementation is very simple. It's a managed solution if we're talking about core motives that takes about 15 minutes to provision and uh, implement into your organization. So let's talk real quickly about core motives, our embedded solution. Just to give you an idea of the different types of brands that leverage core motives to uh, power their marketing business, everything from professional sports teams to retail, uh, consumer packaged goods, financial services. You know, what this slide says is that some of the largest and most recognized brands in the world leverage a silver pot product, and in this case, purely core motives, that embedded solution to manage all of their marketing automation needs. Uh, similar to what Nick talked about with Click Dimensions, we leverage the Azure Cloud to push your data into CRM. So all of your data, when it is relevant, will live in Microsoft CRM, and all of your lists are built out of that CRM piece. And we completely agree that the best place for that data to live, if your organization is able to fit within the capabilities of the tools, should be in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. But there are absolutely cases where, um, as Pierre showed, the need for data to move from different locations into a central database, sometimes that means that we uh, push our Engage product. Core motives for Microsoft Dynamics uh, 2013, just to give you that familiar look and feel, um, we are uh, absolutely ready to go and have already pushed a large uh, percentage of our clients that are in the online space forward as Microsoft has pushed them through to the 2013 product. You have the ability to build email messages and templates within Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Again, all of the uh, entities and objects live within Microsoft Dynamics. You uh, are able to leverage an advanced HTML content editor, um, use your CRM fields for mail merge to deliver dynamic content. You're leveraging your familiar CRM marketing list to build those lists. Everything is in a long page format without a lot of windows that would pop up and potentially confuse your end users. And we've also um, have the ability to deliver SMS communication all of these email messages, SMS messages, are uh, active, can be activity-driven, can be one-off driven. We also have functionality that allows sales folks to send from CRM, which would then appear as if it comes from their Outlook. We provide you with the capability to preview your messages through, our, through not just the custom HTML editor, but once you create your HTML or your email through either the 
editor or an import of your custom HTML, we want to give you that look and feel to, to understand what that test looks like, to work through the validation. We provide that directly in line within our uh, Microsoft CRM form. And of course, what is marketing without understanding the results? So it's really important for marketers in this day and age to not only build really good content, but to know if it's working. So we provide, again, in line with your mailing approach, the ability to track your results. So very quickly you can see how many opens, how many, <coughs> excuse me, how many unopens, how many bounces, and you can start to drive into that data. What you're really trying to do is identify not just how well it was received, but what happened within this mailing. So through the use of the heat map, and this is just a simple email that has gone out, we can see where folks have clicked within this email. And of course, that starts to provide the marketer with a lot of intelligence about how to react or how to address these particular marketing lists or individual segments the next time that they engage with them. We also allow the ability for actionable items to take place, automated follow-ups. This is really the next generation of marketing that really uh, you know, the majority of marketers are trying to do right now, behavioral-based marketing. The, the, mar that, uh, the elusive campaign of one, using actions allows you to treat those individuals through CRM workflows and nurture marketing campaigns into that you, you're able to move them into the campaign of one. And this, again, is all embedded within Microsoft Dynamics CRM within our managed solution. But it's not just about sending emails. It's also about that long-running interaction with your individual prospect or customer or even your lead. So while web forms are the current topic, what you can see from the image on the left is that it's really about stringing together your interactions. So we have a client, the New Jersey Devils, that wanted to engage their fans. By engaging their fans in email to choose a song that gets played in the arena whenever this hockey team scores a goal, they wanted to also, also capture that data via a web form. So they're leveraging core motives to send the email and then direct them to a web form to capture more information about that, about that contact or prospect. Our web form builder is created directly within CRM. The results track directly back into CRM at the contact or lead level. And it allows for triggered responses from those web forms as well. So not only can I create my web forms very easily, I can also take those web forms and turn them into surveys, which is very valuable because once you've typically engaged with an end consumer and they've provided you with information that is valid, like an email address, and they've shown that behavior that they are naturally interested or buying, it really depends on your industry, the data they're giving you is very powerful for marketers. So you can see within our product and core motives, we're able to build surveys and allow you to capture additional information from those uh, individual recipients. And here's what a typical web form might look like on the front end versus how it's built in the back end. Again, very simple, putting tools in the hands of the marketer, taking it out of the hands of IT. So one final piece about core motives, and really this is our pillar when it comes to why would you choose core motives? Well, it's really three things. Vision, data, and skills. The marketer has to have the vision. The data has to be in place, as Pierre talked about. And you need the skills within a tool like Core Motive to deliver that. Everything backed by Microsoft CRM keeps things very simple. And we believe that that's a, a, a real recipe for success for our end users. Now let's briefly talk about our Engage product. So we're not going to spend much more than this slide on our Engage product. And Again, just to touch on why we leverage our Engage platform. And the Engage platform is considered a market leader for the enterprise space when it comes to marketing automation. We leverage the Scribe online platform to push data and to handle data from CRM, such as contact lists, contact data, those custom elements around your contact being pushed into our Engage platform through Scribe. We leverage all of those cool mapping features that Pierre just walked through in the Scribe Online product to push the data back and forth, all the way down to scheduling when a particular lead, if you're in a B2B space, hits a particular lead score and is pushed back into Microsoft Dynamics CRM. 
That way, you're creating synergy both through the Core Motives product and through the Engage product with your particular sales team building that relationship between marketing and sales, one that oftentimes can come, fairly, come with a fairly contentious attitude at times. And with that, I'm going to turn it back over to Jason. I appreciate the uh, time today. All right. Thanks so much, Dan. And next, let me just make sure I have the – all right. Next, we have Prescott Wright from Moxie Software. And I am giving you control, Prescott. Thank you very much, Jason. Let me share my desktop here. All right. I see it coming up now. Excellent. Let me introduce myself. My name is Prescott Wright, and I'm a product manager at Moxie Software. Moxie enables companies in a single suite to connect employees, customers, and partners, to engage in business, share knowledge, and collaborate. Our spaces by Moxie applications include self-service, knowledge-based, email, and chat. We provide the most intuitive and extensive offerings in the market and power more than 3 billion interactions per year. Our knowledge-based product integrates seamlessly with Microsoft Dynamics, providing a valuable resource for agents to be able to find answers to resolve tickets and help customers. But that's not what I'm going to be talking to you about today. What we're going to talk about today is how can we reduce the volume of tickets and phone calls that your agents have to deal with by implementing a very powerful web self-service solution. I'm very pleased to show you you're among the very first people outside of Moxie, in fact, to see our brand new web self-service portal, which is currently under development with a launch date of this spring. Let me switch over to our prototype demonstration here. And what we've really focused on is making it possible for our customers to deliver this world-class web self-service experience so that customers can get questions on their own by searching a knowledge base and resolving their question without having to contact you, as well as making it easy to escalate and send an email if they can't find what they're looking for, or it's a type of question that does need support. We focused on making this very simple and fast to use for a consumer. Out of the box is a very clean and simple layout that's easy to customize so that you can meet your own brand standards. Additionally, out of the box, without needing separate versions, separate implementations, multiple versions of the content, you have one responsive design which works across devices, on your desktop, on your tablet, or on your phone. Uh, Gartner, in fact, predicts that by 2015, over 60% of Internet users are going to opt for mobile as their first option. So we're pleased that this design and this uh, portal is going to work across all those devices with minimal additional cost on your behalf. So let's take a look at this home page. Our research has shown that about half of your visitors are going to immediately search, while the other half will be more link dominant. So we've put the search box front and center to accommodate those users who want to search. And then for the other half, we offer multiple ways for companies to expose their content and help people navigate. We have this visual navigation where you can see some examples of, of products and, and phones in this example. But of course, this can be tailored through configuration to expose your own products as a starting point for people to find the answers that they're looking for by selecting the right product. We also have the ability to display categories and subcategories as another jumping off point to help people get you into your content and get the answers that they need for their support questions. We also have widgets uh, that can display new answers and popular answers, helping to expose some of the 20% of content that answers about 80% of questions typically that people have when they come to your support site. We also have a few other widgets that are not shown in this prototype, um, but they include the ability to implement a custom message widget so you can push out uh, information to your customers in a very easy and timely way. And then we also have widgets to display all the articles or the most recent articles in a particular category. Maybe you have a news category and you want to have that constantly updated as news gets published, and that can be dynamically implemented on the home page as well. So now shifting our attention a little bit to search, um, we recognize that most people when they come to the support portal or just in general, they're actually not very good searchers. So we want to help them. Uh, so for example, let's say someone enters a, a fairly vague term such as Bluetooth. They're going to come back with a huge result set, more than likely, just because it's a general term. So what we have is this narrow down section where someone can select a product, a category, or other criteria which you define when you're setting up these articles 
in, in an effort to uh, get more targeted and relevant search results. So let's say I actually have a Samsung phone. Now I'm going to get a much more targeted list of results. Let's say even I select I have a Samsung S4. Well, now I have the article that I'm looking for in terms of how to set up my Samsung Galaxy S4. So a very intuitive and powerful way to get to the right answer without having to force someone to learn a complicated navigation scheme or go to an advanced search page. So now let's take a look at this article itself. Uh, of course, this is just a, a demo. Um, articles can have multimedia content and videos, rich text, graphics, and formatting. Um, but overall, the design is focused front and center on the person uh, reading that content and finding the information that they're looking for. Additionally, they can mark whether or not the article is helpful, which will get recorded in the database and be available in your analytics. Or they can indicate uh, that it wasn't helpful, that there's a suggestion that they'd like to offer. And they can optionally put in their name and email address so that you can follow up with them if needed as well. Uh, there's also the ability to share an article via a social network or to email that article to someone else to look at, perhaps a colleague or a friend. Now, even with a great search experience, great content, there's going to be times when someone's going to want to email you. So we make it very possible uh, to create a contact form but instead of this contact form, just submitting and going direct to email, we are very excited about our automatic ticket resolution functionality, which is actually going to scan someone's question and then uh, respond with appropriate uh, solutions and answers before that ticket gets submitted and created in your system or in Dynamics. Um, so for example, many people might just come and immediately go to the email form. In this way, we'll be able to present them with relevant answers and they're happy because they get an answer to their question immediately. And companies are happy because it deflects that ticket from recreating and uh, saves them support costs. Um, also, we found that even people who are searching, oftentimes they're much more descriptive when they're writing this email than when they're doing a search. So they may actually get a different set of results back and get more targeted answers that's going to resolve their question. So it's very uh, beneficial for the client in terms of cost savings as well as for the customer to get immediate answers. And of course, it's very easy uh, for the person to continue submitting that ticket if, in fact, those answers weren't relevant. Um, overall, there are a few additional things that are hard to show in the demo, but I'd like to make you aware of. Uh, the first thing is that we've designed this to be very search engine friendly. We understand that most people today are going to start their search for support on a search engine like Google or Bing um, instead of your corporate site. So it's very important that your articles and your support content are uh, indexed very well and deeply. Uh, so that's built into this design. Also, the design is WCAG and Section 508 accessibility compliant, uh, important for your users who use an assistive device or have a low mobility or vision. Um, additionally, for federal and state clients, that's increasingly becoming a, a requirement for any vendor that you do business with. We also have this portal come with many out-of-the-box templates, similar to what you see on the screen. Uh, making it easy for anyone with basic HTML skills to add a custom header, custom footer, update your colors and fonts, and even to make changes to which widgets are displayed on the screen, uh, what product images are used, which categories you want to expose. Uh, that can all be done very easily without necessarily requiring professional services or engineering team to do customization. Now I want to switch gears a little bit with the last couple of minutes and show you some additional functionality uh, that's still under development. And so I'm going to switch over to some screenshots here. And what you're looking at now is what we call our solution finders. Uh, solution finders are a way to lead people to the right answer by asking them a series of questions in a very conversational format. Uh, they're best used for troubleshooting steps and involve many branching conditions to get to a resolution. Uh, instead of a long, multi-page technical article that someone must read and understand and get to the right point in to get the answer they're looking for, instead they can answer a series of questions to get to that answer. So for example, I selected a solution finder about sound quality issues. And I'm presented with a, granted a fairly simple question, but you know, is my computer plugged in? Yes or no? Um, if I select yes, I'm going to go down a different path for my next question than if I select no ultimately to get to the root of why am I having sound issues with my computer. There's also the ability to associate articles from your knowledge base with each step in the solution finder. 
So if they need to read the article to decide which choice is most appropriate for their situation, they can do that right in line while they're on that screen. So this is very powerful uh, functionality. Uh, it's great for em employees, for call scripting in contact center, as well as using with your consumers to walk them through complicated topics so they can get the support they need when it's more than just a simple, uh, short article that will do the job. We also have another search presentation. The search presentation that I just showed you uh, was tailored really for the consumer, make it simple, easy, and fast. But we represent, or we understand that uh, many companies will deploy this also for internal employees or for agents in a contact center. And those agents are focused on speed. And they are essentially power users and need a slightly different interface. So we support that as well. And in fact, we have uh, the ability to expose up to four different filter groups, uh, such as knowledge bases, categories, attributes, and content types, as a way to let people filter those results very quickly um, to get to the right information that they're looking for. Uh, so in this example, I selected the billing category and my result set is updating. And then I can apply another filter on too. So maybe it's in the billing category and it has to deal with the Samsung. So I can select that. And maybe I'm just interested in articles, so I can select that as well. And the result list will be very uh, fine-tuned to get the person to the correct answer very quickly. We also have some functionality so that people can get spelling corrections. If they misspell something, the system will automatically correct their search term so they get relevant results. It will also provide them search suggestions at the very bottom in case they look through the results and say, you know, this isn't what I'm looking for. The system will dynamically recommend uh, other search terms that people have found helpful as a way to get them to the right answer. And finally, we have the ability to display uh, not just HTML, but content that's in many other formats, such as PDF or Word or Excel. Um, that can all be integrated into a seamless, seamless uh, knowledge base and presentation for your end users, regardless of the original source of the content. Uh, we also have the One minute, Prescott. Thank you. We also have the ability to display uh, different metadata, such as a modified date, um, attributes, uh, ID of the article, and other information that your more power users or internal users might find useful. So again, overall, we're very pleased to announce uh, our new portal a lot of exciting capabilities uh, for web self-service for your consumers as well as internally for your agents. So thank you very much for your time. All right, thank you so much, Prescott. If you have any questions, this would be a great time to ask them. Our, uh, our speakers are all on the line, and we can open up the lines for, uh, for that. So please enter your questions in the Q&A block you see on the right side of the panel right now. I'm going to actually bring up uh, our presenter's contact information. You can also follow up with them directly and find out more information uh, from their company sites. So uh, we want to hear from you. Are you uh, looking at the latest release of, CRM 20, uh, of Dynamic CRM and thinking about new capabilities? Are you doing planning for 2014 for your organization? And uh, what's on your mind in terms of adding uh, whether it's sales, support, or uh, or marketing features to your Dynamics solution. Well, it looks like we do not have any questions at this time. Uh, so we can actually begin wrapping up, I think. I want to uh, actually take uh, just a moment to say thank you to each of our presenters today, Prescott, uh, Dan, uh, Pierre, and Nick. Thanks so much for uh, for taking the time to speak with us today. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you. And thanks for your uh, time and attention today, everyone in the audience. Really appreciate it. We have recorded today's session. We'll be making it available uh, on demand very shortly, so please be on the lookout for that. Uh, thanks again, and have a great day.